even when Dallas don't need to win and the other team don't need to win, they find themselves on national TV. What a surprise. Monday Night Football for the Dallas Cowboys. Good win for you guys tonight, Cowboy fans, even though you didn't need it. I'm going to give you what I think real quick, and then I'm going to go watch Season 2 of The Man in the High Castle. Take care. The Dallas Cowboys gave the Detroit Lions a beating. A beating. Boom. Knocked them out. But it doesn't really matter because Detroit didn't need to win this game. And Dallas didn't need to win this game for the division. It's all settled. Detroit plays Green Bay next week in a great, fascinating game I can't wait to watch for the division. As far as Dallas goes, I want to take Dallas the point they are right now. I want to look at them from an unbiased perspective going into the playoffs. The best I can as an Eagle fan. It's very hard, but I'm going to try to do it. I have many Dallas Cowboy viewers who we like to go at it, but we both respect, we respect each other. And I'm going to try to give you what I think honestly. Now, I think... It's very hard to win a Super Bowl with two rookies. It's, it's almost impossible. But we live in a time of impossibility, right? You have presidents who winning who shouldn't win. You have, you have the Cubs won the World Series. Enough said, right? But can Dallas win with two rookies? That's the big question. I don't know. It's, it's hard to imagine, you know? But when I watch that offensive line, I think, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now, I'm being honest with the Eagle fan, but holy crap, we got to deal with that? Damn, that's tough. That's a dominating offensive line. And if, if Prescott continues to grow every year and be consistent, which he has to prove he can do. But if he does, watch out. Elliot, I think Elliot's an elite back. For the future. Matter of fact, I personally think Elliott should be MVP of the year of the of the NFL year. I think he's MVP. I can't give it to Brady. I can't give it to a guy that missed four games. I'm sorry, I just can't. But Dallas is scary. They are scary, but they got to win in the playoffs. That's when it always matters. The playoffs, and I still think a team that can score a lot of points quickly. Or a team with a dominating defensive line that can neutralize that offensive line will give Dallas problems. But we'll see. Who knows? It ain't the Eagles. The Eagles stink. But that's a whole nother thing. You play us this week, I suggest you don't play Prescott. I would give Romo backup reps. Let him play a game. Let him get his feet. Let him, let him get some timing down. Let him get in action gameplay just in case something happens to Prescott. And I wouldn't play Elliott much. Maybe, maybe a quarter at the most but why, why risk it have your guys fresh no matter who they're going to play i'll do a prediction show i'll do my thoughts on the playoffs when the time comes but right now the dallas cowboys are a scary stinking team all right a very scary team and that's coming from an eagle fan who hates to admit it i hate to admit it but i look at that offensive line i think holy crap holy crap what do we got we, we ain't got nothing we, we aren't ready. We, we have a lot of work to do. But, you know, you guys, it's your time. You enjoy it. You enjoy the run. I'll be here to talk about it either way. Get on your nerves or not. We'll see what happens.